Bleeding for Truth suggests five horror movies to watch this Halloween that you've probably never seen. He's Out There. From 2018, a film directed by Quinn Lasher, written by Mike Scannell, with her husband Sean planning to arrive later, Laura takes her two young daughters, Kayla and Maddie, to a remote lake house for their annual family getaway. Then guess what happens? He's out there. This movie won't change the world, but I think if enough people get to see this movie, enough horror fans get to see this movie, I think this one day could become somewhat of a cult classic. He's out there. Check it out right now. Currently on Netflix. The Ritual. 2017 British supernatural horror movie. Directed by David Bruckner. Written by Joe Barton. Based on a 2011 novel of the same name by Adam Neville. Four friends embark on a hiking trip in northern Sweden in honor of their late friend Rob. One of the four injures his knee. Then guess what happens? Out in the wilderness, the four friends, and a supernatural plot unfolds. This is a Netflix original. This has a runtime of 94 minutes. This one was a surprise for me. I turned it on on a whim because I saw four backpackers on the poster on Netflix and I decided to give it a spin. Check this one out, especially if you like outdoors, lost in the woods type stuff. You'll enjoy this one. The Ritual, currently on Netflix. The Forest, 2016 supernatural horror film, directed by Jason Zada, written by Ben Katai, Nick Antosca, and Sarah Cornwell. This stars Natalie Dormer, many people will remember from Game of Thrones, as Marjorie Tyrell. This was another surprise. The majority of the movie is set in the suicide forest, Mount Fuji in Japan. Natalie Dormer plays Sarah Price, who receives a phone call from the Japanese police telling her that they think her troubled twin sister, Jess Price, also played by Natalie Dormer, is dead, as she was last seen going into the forest. Sarah proceeds to get to the bottom of what happened to her sister as she travels to Japan and enters the forest herself. This movie was a surprise to me, also because there was a twist that you may or may not see coming at the end. It has a runtime of 93 minutes. I think anyone, especially if you are a Natalie Dormer fan, I think if you try this one, I think you'll like it. The Forest is currently on HBO. Honeymoon, 2014 sci-fi horror film this time directed by Lee Janiak hope I'm pronouncing that right in her feature film directorial debut this one stars Rose Leslie ironically enough also a Game of Thrones alum of course starred as Egret in Game of Thrones B and Paul are newly married and off to have a romantic honeymoon in a rustic cabin set in a secluded forest in Canada. Then guess what happens? <laughs> Another outdoors horror movie. I love me some outdoor horror. Any movie that opens with a couple in a vehicle traveling on a twisty mountain road, that's a movie for me. Honeymoon was surprisingly good. A big, big, big science fiction twist that you will not see coming towards the end of the movie. This one is classic, modern day classic, Honeymoon 2014. This one is 
an 87 minute runtime. And this one is currently on Hulu. Check this one out. And last but not least, Circle, 2015, psychological thriller, not a horror movie, directed by Aaron Han and, and Mario Mischion, hope I'm pronouncing that right, this is an ensemble cast, inspired by a great film from 1957, 12 Angry Men, this is a good one, 50 people wake up in a dark room, arranged in two concentric circles around a black dome noises sound when they attempt to move or touch the others when someone ignores the warning and leaves formation a beam from the dome kills them and the dead are eventually removed as the others panic a man attempts to calm them but the device kills him mid-sentence thereafter every two minutes another person is killed this is a great, fast, quick 87 minutes that will fly by. It'll feel like a half hour when you watch this. Trying to figure out, is there a pattern? What is happening? Why are some getting killed and why aren't some getting killed? And the end has, has an ending that I did not see coming. Circle. Currently on Netflix. If you've never seen any of these movies, please feel free to check any of them out. Come back, drop a comment, and tell me what you thought of what you watched. If you've seen any of these movies, let me know what you thought of these. I think these are five that are pretty good movies, pretty entertaining movies. They're all about an hour and a half long, and I think they would, be, they would make for good choices this Halloween. If you are looking for something other than the typical Halloween movies that are played on cable television all week. Let me know down in the comments. Please consider liking the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Blading for Truth.